What's going on YouTube? Uh, Mech here again. Welcome back to the uh, Bearded Mech channel. And uh, it's it's been like a huh, like a maybe a week or more since I've uh, done a recording. I don't know if you can still hear it in my voice. I've been sick. It has sucked. Because when we're sick, I mean, at least for me anyway, um, you know, there wasn't there wasn't any beer. Uh, I mean, I did run out anyway, but uh, as far as beer reviews goes, I don't want to try and review a beer when my nose is sounding ridiculous. Uh, so here we are. Um, if you saw my beer review from uh, last week, uh, it went up actually uh, just the other day because I wasn't able to get it posted uh, while I was sick because I wasn't at my office workstation, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that was recorded like like a week uh, prior to me getting sick uh, I just need to be posted uh, but anyway if you saw that one then uh, you would know the story about how uh, I went in toward the uh, the beer keller in the Samuel Adams uh, brewery in Boston uh, and on the way out in the uh, um, gift shop we, we left like a, a couple beers that are uh, exclusive to that gift shop and uh, here's the second one it's like it's the bottle is sweating like crazy. I don't want to drop it. But this one's um, I almost said noble. <laughs> uh, this one is the Pennant Pills. Um, and there's not much information about it. There's nothing on Rate Beer. There's nothing on Beer Advocate. So nothing really to show there. Um, it's got some uh, baseball themes going on here with the Red Sox logo on the front. Uh, so uh, I guess I'll just read you what what's on the label. Uh, lager with mint and strawberries added, uh, 5.5 ABV, uh, one pint styles of lager, uh, oh, one pint, uh, 9.4 ounces, actually, uh, limited release for the year of 2019. Um, oh, <laughs> for brewery fresh taste, please enjoy by August. 2019. Well, we're in uh, the very beginning of June, so uh, on the side here we have uh, pennant pills. Nothing says the start of summer like baseball and beer. Uh, this crisp lager is aged on strawberries and mint that were grown at Fenway Farms. Huh. A small garden that sits majestically atop America's oldest and, we believe, most beloved ballpark, Fenway Park. Uh, available at our uh, at our Boston brewery and on draft at Fenway, there's no better brew for soaking up a warm, sunny day in Red Sox wins. Cheers. So, Red Sox, love them or hate them, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a Boston brewery beer. Of course, they're going to be in favor of the Boston team. Uh, it's not sunny. It's not that warm either. Uh, we're off to a really cool start uh, to this summer season i mean officially it's not summer yet but usually when you get into june it's like a lot warmer and it's not so uh but anyway i'm sure the beer the beer will be delicious either way uh so we got our little little our big sam adams bottle opener pop that open as i bump my mic uh <laughs> and we missed um, I moved the mic to try and get a better voice here. I want—I don't want to like get in the way as I pour this. We're using the Samuel Adams Perfect Pint Glass once again. About it for that glass. Looks like. One thing that surprised me about this when I read the label was saying that it's a lager. I thought for sure it would be a Pilsner because of the name, you know, uh, uh, Pennant Pills. And the other, uh, the other named beer from St. Adams that has pills in the name is the Noble Pills. Uh, and that which I, uh, I'm pretty sure is actually a Pilsner. So anyway, uh, it's a beautiful color. I know I say that very often about most beers, but this, it's got like, it, it's got a lot of carbonation. I don't even can see 
I just had a frame drop for some reason right there. You can see those bubbles. That's bubbling like crazy. Um, and it's got a, a really nice like honey gold color to it. It's actually a little bit lighter looking on my end than it probably does to you. But it's a it's a, such a it's a nice color beer. Very very pretty uh, with a little bit of a white frothy head. Huh, and the smell. Uh, once again, we'll we'll get this down a little bit, and then we'll swish it around for a better smell. But as it is after uh, just after pouring, it doesn't have much of a smell to it, really. I mean, I don't I don't catch strawberries or or mint or nothing as to what they were talking about on the uh, the label. That's probably more when you taste it. Slight bit of hops in the smell, but other than that, not much else. Could be my nose, too, from being sick. I don't know, but... Anyways, uh, pennant pills, you guys. Cheers, love a swig. <laughs> I think we need to uh, investigate a little further. It's the first words that come to mind are juicy, but not in the way you might expect, judging by the the notes in the bottle. A little bit of lacing there in the glass. <clears throat> the taste is it's delicious. It's very good. Um. It's uh, it's got this very slight, uh, juicy fruitiness to it. This tiny little bit of tang that kind of lingers on your tongue a bit, but it's also got a little bit of a, of a hop taste as well. I'm not really finding the mint that they were talking about. And I and and you know if I didn't read off the label, I wouldn't drink this and think, oh, strawberries and mint. That's not what comes to mind when I taste it. But it, it's like this sort of, uh, it's, it's kind of in between of light and heavy. It's kind of breaks even between the two. But it, it's got this nice kind of, <laughs> juicy is the best word I can, I can think of to uh, explain it. Uh, this juicy flavor to it. Uh, and I'm starting to notice it's kind of got this little bit of a tartness that lingers too. When it first hits hit your tongue, you have just this little bit of a hot bite. It's not huge. It's gone pretty quickly. And you get this, like, nice, like, refreshing, juicy flavor to it. Uh, that kind of, when it, when, it, when it goes away, it leaves this almost tart feeling in your, in your mouth. Uh, so we'll, we'll give it the old swisheroo. Try and bring some of those aromas out. Oh yeah, that, that helps. Yeah, when you, when you do that and then you give it a smell. I can kind of get strawberries there. Like if you've ever had um, dried strawberries, like the dehydrated ones. Like if you've ever had like banana chips. Well, you can kind of get the same thing with, with strawberries. That's kind of the smell I get. It's a it's a nice, subtle, fruity smell. N nowhere am I getting any mint. Not in the taste, not in the smell. Which is okay. Yeah, it's not a big deal. I'm not expecting a minty beer, nor even a strawberry ruled beer, but... 
Oh, that's quite enjoyable. In by on the bottle, it says that uh, at Fenway Park during baseball games, you can get it on draft. That's awesome. I would love to try that. Uh, I think they also said in their brewery they do it on draft too. Very nice beer. <clears throat> Very flavorful. I think I probably explained it three, four times the same way. So, uh, not not to bore you anymore with what I think of it. This is uh, very delicious. If you are in the Boston area and you happen to take a trip down to the Boston Brewery or a Red Sox game uh, at <clears throat> Fenway Park, highly, highly, highly recommend you try this beer. It's very, very tasty. Um, that's something I'm, I'm definitely going to have to try if I ever go see a see a game in Boston or or, uh, or visit their their um, their 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 bar at the brewery anytime soon uh so yeah guys that is the samuel adams pennant pills uh if you enjoyed uh it would help me out a lot a lot if you leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more and make sure you ring the bell so that you are notified next time there's a review because my schedule is so crazy we aim for fridays but they don't always turn out that way so um for those of you that do watch thank you very much i appreciate it immensely uh, hope you guys have a great weekend, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.